I recently petitioned my state of Oregon regarding the Menstrual Dignity Act. This was a well-intended bill that was to provide feminine hygiene products in our schools for free. That bill became unreasonable and irresponsible when the verbiage changed that it had to be in female, gender neutral, and specifically boys' bathrooms in all K through 12 schools. $5.5 million is being redirected from the state school fund to provide these products in these bathrooms. Boys do not menstruate. I will not confuse my son and tell him that boys menstruate when he does not have a uterus and he will never ovulate. Well, the new statewide Oregon bill has parents like Sherry asking why tampons in boys' bathrooms are a necessary expense. Now, she's joining us here today, and we're talking $5.5 million to put these in all the bathrooms yes. across the state? Yes, K through 12. And that $5.5 million, it's a carve out. So it comes out before they distribute the money to the schools after that. And so considering everything that uh, did, has happened since the pandemic and beyond, achievement gaps, um, just education in general, where Oregon falls across all the states for education, the idea of taking this money out for f feminine hygiene products, which is available in schools, you may have to ask for them. They're in the office and stuff like that, but they've always been available. Do you do you know what percentage of the budget this is for Oregon's educational budget? Well, all I know, I don't know the percentage, but I do know that it equates to 30 teachers a year. Um, this is less than one tenth of one percent of the total budget. We could use 30 teachers a year. They could use 30 teachers. I mean, which, I which is I true. So I we think, should increase the education budget. I think that math though avoids the central issue. Right. Yeah. And the other side of that, if you want to talk about the funding, I would ask why couldn't the funding come out of um, for menstrual products out of OHP, um, the Oregon Health Plan, versus coming out of the education budget, which is meant to educate our children. But is it commonsensical to put these products in every yes. bathroom? I, I want to give two, two, a two-part response here. First of all, I mean, like we saw in Tennessee, trans boys do need to use restrooms. Trans boys can menstruate, and that's okay. And second, if people are running out of menstrual products, which um, I went to a school that provided them, it happens all the time, um, a boy could just run to the bathroom and grab it for his friend. So this is actually a law that benefits everyone, including cisgender women. But it's also a law that can be abused because we've already, in the female bathrooms where it does make sense for them to be, they're putting them all over the walls, <laughs> boys, you know, I don't have any firsthand experience, but there's already been stories from parents that have come to me talking about boys wearing them on their ears. And, so and should we also be on toilet paper from bathrooms? No, but why do we put them in places where they have a higher propensity of being misused? It just doesn't make sense. So to add to your point, this is really important for lower social economic um, schools. Transgender boys who might not have their own money to go buy tampons. If they're provided free in the bathroom, it's, it's a huge plus. Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Now, you can call yourself Cis whatever you want. Cis men don't menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. No, Same they as don't. Same as non-binary people. <clears throat> Only women. Menstruating is not exclusive yes, to it cis is. women. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me as to why my body menstruated you are, at some point. If your chromosomes then. are XX and you're young, you menstruate. True. If you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non-binary? We're not excluding men. a whole group of they're, people They're women that dressed menstruate. as men. You are not a man. You can pretend to be a man, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Live your life and <laughs> tell me what a man is. Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. So why are we just looking at the the the, the science of this as an the example? Science. When when we've learned sex and gender identity are two very they're completely different things. They're not completely they different. They are completely things. different. They're completely different words. And sex is what you're born with, the sexual reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify with. They're completely different Well, I don't accept things. that distinction. You have to argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're, you're just making it up. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.